Hi Scratchers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be making Floppy Bird. Let's begin. So first, we're going to delete the Scratch Cat right there, and then we're going to find a reference of the Flappy Bird off Google. Now that we have our Flappy Bird, we can start coding. Let's begin. So to start off, we're going to start with some pretty basic blocks, like when Greenfly clicked, Show, Go to Front Layer, and switch costume to 1. Then, in our Flappy Bird sprite, we want to make a variable called Y Velocity. Make sure you click for this sprite only. Now that we have this, we're going to do when Greenfly clicked. Wait 0.5 seconds. And set Y Velocity to 0. Underneath this script, we want to do forever change y by y velocity then we'd want it to change y velocity by minus 0 0.8 if we test this right now it has a small gradual fall now to finish this off we're gonna get an if block then we're gonna get an or and then do if mouse down or key space pressed, set Y velocity to 7. Now if we test this out, it falls and keeps going. This is exactly what we want. Now I'm just going to go on Google and get some tubes from Flappy Bird. Now that I got the tubes into Scratch, a significant thing you need to do is make sure you have two tubes. One going down and one going up. Make them a different costume. Now, in our tube sprite, we're going to want to code when Greenfly clicked, hide. Now we're going to want to make a couple different variables. So we're going to make one called random y spawn for the sprite only. Then we're going to make another one called bottom pipe or top pipe for the sprite only. And then we're going to make a sprite called points which can be for all sprites. Under here, you're going to want to set your points to zero. Then, get a forever block, and say, set Y spawn. And then, we're going to want to go to pick random, and we're going to type in 41 to negative 41. Then we're going to go into variables, and select bottom or top pipe. Then type in top, and then create clone of myself. Then set top to bottom, and create clone of myself again. Now we're gonna code when I start as clone, show, and then we're gonna get an if else. Then we're gonna get if, so bottom pipe or top pipe equals bottom. And we're gonna switch costume to one. And then we're gonna wanna go to X106. And we're gonna type in our variable. It's a random Y spawn. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing, but if the pipe is the top. So then we're gonna this right here and then we're gonna do the other costume and then we're gonna type in 112 something I forgot to add under this script is a wait two seconds this makes sure our cloning is spread out now we're gonna code repeat until then we're gonna get a less than block then do x then negative 218 then change x by minus 5 and then we're gonna change points by 1 and then delete this clone so let's test this out now this works perfect 
thing we're gonna fix now is to make sure that our tubes don't spawn in the center of, of the project. Let's make sure that they come out from the right side corner. This is a very easy fix. All you gotta do is make this number 289 and this number 289. This will make sure it comes exactly from the right hand corner. This is perfect. Another problem you might be encountering is that there's this white space at the top where the tube comes out of. To fix this, you simply gotta put the tube up like it's coming out of the sky. This should be an easy problem to fix. There's one last glitch I encountered. When you go through a tube, it adds two points because there's two tubes. So when you go through a tube, we gotta make sure that it adds 0.5. Something else that we want to do when we start our game is make sure our player goes to 0-0. Zero, zero. In Flappy Bird, there's two ways you can die. One, if you touch the ground, and two, if you touch the pipes. Let's see what will happen if you touch the ground. So first, make a new sprite and call it ground. Then, draw a white line along the bottom. Make sure it is exactly at the bottom. And then code when green fly click show go to back layer then go into the flappy bird and do when green fly clicked forever if touching ground then broadcast dead and then go into the tubes and do when I receive dead stop all let's test this out Yep, that works. Works perfect. Now let's make sure our player will respond when we touch the tubes. So to do this, do when green flag click forever if touching tubes, then broadcast dead. Now if we test this out, this works. If we get through the tube, we get a point. To make your game easier, you can quickly adjust this game by making sure your bird is smaller. So, now we have a working Flappy Bird game. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Chewing Fruit Gum. Bye!